Liebenthal with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, having been born and raised in Idaho, I have had more than one camping trip ruined by snow in June, and it certainly happened to some folks today. Hopefully you were paying attention last night when we told you about the potential for snow in the mountains. We have seen rain here in the valley more than an inch at the Boise Airport. I showed you those thunderstorms over the Owyhee Mountains a few minutes ago. They're kind of dissipating at this point, but you still see the dark clouds. And again, with the surface heating, with the sun hitting it right now, we could get more thunderstorms developing over the next several hours. A breezy and chilly day, 53 in Boise right now, 16 mile per hour wind. And there you see all of the precipitation now. Uh, those thunderstorms, as I said, moving off the Owyhees, now it's still a few thunderstorms storms just south of Mountain Home. And yes, we have winter weather advisories in effect on the seventh day of June. They've been extended down into the sawtooth now around Clayton, Ketchum, Stanley. You could get two to four inches of snow in the bitter roots up on the uh, Montana border. Some places easily getting four to six inches of snow same for the Clearwater mountains lots of snow still hitting those mountains overnight and into tomorrow that winter weather advisory staying in effect until around 11 o'clock tomorrow morning in most places McCall's official high temperature today was 48 it happened right after midnight the snow started coming down and as it started to accumulate the temperature just stood still actually cooled down and then stood still at around 33 degrees that has been the temperature in McCall for hours now Here's a look at future precipitation. McCall picking up as much as four tenths of an inch of precipitation, much of it in the form of snow with those cool temperatures, so several inches as possible, especially on the higher peaks around the McCall area. For Boise tomorrow, we get some sunshine mixed with clouds in the afternoon. Could go to all sunshine by around 7 o'clock. But our afternoon highs only warm into low 60s. 10 day trend shows those temperatures continuing to warm through Thursday, a bit of a cool down on Friday, and has, has been the pattern more showers and thunderstorms coming in with cooler temperatures next weekend we can't seem to dodge the storms on the weekend that will be the case once again you can see that counterclockwise rotation in the precipitation here right here it's that area of low pressure we've been talking about and it's really right overhead right now and again we do have thunder storms in the mountains of southern Idaho, snow in northern Nevada, and as we zoom in here, you'll see those thunderstorms I was talking about just to the south of Mountain Home. Don't be surprised if they happen where you are, even if you aren't in that area right now. The cool air will continue to stream in, so temperature is still well below average tomorrow, but warming up some. 62 is our forecast high for tomorrow. 69 on Tuesday. We'll have some cloud cover on Tuesday, but by Wednesday we are back into the 80s with an afternoon high of 80 degrees and lots of sunshine. And that warming trend goes right into Thursday and Friday. Uh, this saying 89 on Thursday. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit the 90s in some Treasure Valley locations on Thursday. Friday, a nice day with partly cloudy skies and highs in the mid 80s. And there is the next storm coming in almost like clockwork just in time for the weekend there you see a 20 percent chance of showers on saturday a 40 percent chance on sunday and as i said last sunday i think those numbers will go up uh, as our computer models get a better handle on the next storm system heading our way it has been a wild year and a wild month uh, in many respects including the weather it certainly has. Yeah, this wet weekend trend is kind of a bummer when you're trying to plan these boating or camping trips thinking it's, you know, summer starting, but what can you do? Well, I'm off on Thursday and Friday, so it's perfect for me. Yeah, if you have a schedule like yours, then you're golden. <laughs>